valuable info, information here uh, because more and more increasingly we are uh, doing self-taping and we are also uh, moving into Skype auditions. And this one's particularly about the Skype audition. So let's ask Erica, how can uh, an actor improve their Skype audition? I think uh, it's a, what's, what are qualities you're looking for in a Skype audition and then what are some that we can improve upon? Well, the first thing I'd say is incredibly technical. And if you're using Skype or Google Hangout or another real-time technology, the eye line is probably the most common, um, I don't want to say it's a mistake, but misunderstood um, technicality. Because on your computer, say you're using your computer, the camera is the little button at the top. And if you're looking at the eye line of the person, so let's say, so I'm looking at the camera, right? And I'm looking at the eye line of the, if I'm actually looking in the eyes of the person I'm speaking to and it's down low, I'll be talking to them like this. And there's no connection with the actual viewer. So you have to cheat and always look into the camera on the computer or the iPad or the iPhone or, or you know, the, whatever you're using. And, um, and then I think the second thing is to make sure, just like a self-taped audition, that you are set up with a background that is plain and you are lit well so one can see your whole face and your eyes and that there's not a ton of background noise so that you are able to, like right now there's a train passing, maybe they can hear it, maybe they can't, but I'm sorry if you can hear it. Um, the uh, whole production value of it needs to be taken into consideration. Um, back to the eye line, actually, the, also the level. So if you're looking down at your computer and, and essentially the camera is shooting up, it's not necessarily the most attractive thing. So I put your computer or your iPad up so that the camera is at least parallel to your eye level and, and sometimes even a little bit higher maybe. Um, that way, actually, you can cheat even easier looking at that person on the screen too. So I think that's it. And then in, in having a great connection, actually, with, with you know, really good internet, knowing that you can either hardwire in sometimes, that's, a, that's another biggie. And, um, and then just being with the person, being yourself, saying hello, being comfortable, genuinely meeting them. And it's funny, the first couple of Skypes I did as a casting director were very awkward and I wasn't sure what to do and I did feel, and now I'm so used to it. It really is just like having a conversation sitting here yeah. with you. And I think the more practice you have and the more you the more you do them, the, the simpler they become. Erica has this wonderful thing she says is that and anything with self taping or in a Skype audition, you want to give the casting director feelings if you were in the room with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So sometimes I tell my students Who's that person that you've talked to on the phone a lot and you're so comfortable you can just be absolute yourself and you're Skyping with them and you want that to happen? You want that kind of generous sort of give and take as if it was a, yes. just a good peer relationship. That, and that's what it should be that when you're talking about that is that you're a peer to this person in the sense you're both artists in, in the film or theater business and the more you can really carry on a good conversation uh, as if you were in the room for them as if that's happening, the, 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 it's the, probably the best thing you can do. I think it is, and I think certainly um, mixing that with also staying, of course, professional and really letting that either casting director or director drive the conversation yes. and, you know, certainly answering and contributing to the conversation, but um, being, you know, BFFs with that casting director after the Skype doesn't really get you very far, honestly. And um, and just, just being a pro, making sure it's about the work, it's about the, the job, it's about, you know, really understanding that character and, and having a wonderfully professional and creative discussion is, is fantastic. And short and sweet is always good, you know, always, always just on the ball, ready to go with whatever you need to, and when it ends, you know it ends. Goodbye, thank you. Boom. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs>